In this chapter, we see the Straw Hats all have to truly work and pull together to help one another to escape the clutches of the world government. And Sanji's awesome. Eh, One Piece, Chapter 429, Utter Defeat. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, man. You gotta be kidding me. All those warships and not a scratch, man. Woo! <laughs> Well, hello, my brothers and sisters and fellow devil fruit users of the Nerd Nation. I, as always, am Jim here to bring you another review on the action-packed, tantalizing, thrill-a-minute, any slobby got burned to the ground tale of One Piece. Our last chapter, of course, saw us with, um, as uh, in the aftermath of Lucci's defeat, uh, the naval, you know, warships, of course, have moved in and, uh, you know, are, are trying to take out, of course, the Bridge of Hesitation. They first destroyed the escape ship and uh, and now were poised and aimed, ready to fire at the Straw Hats and Luffy in their respective areas. At the end, everybody wound up kind of taking a leap of faith, uh, you know, based on, on Usopp and what he had said. And, of course, after he looked down and saw, uh, and they wound up... Uh, Getting landing on most of them landing on the the going Mary the going Mary being there to uh, to many people's amazement and surprise and wonderment, um, very very cool stuff. That's where the chapter left off, and that's where the chapter picks up over here, which I thought was really cool. Kokoro goes and first goes and, and pulls some of them out of the drink there and tosses some up on board, and everybody's you know is kind of triumphantly excited, you know, uh, notably excited obviously that the going Mary has come back for him. I mean, Chopper's crying, Usopp's beside himself. Everybody really, you know, was just like, man, this this is just excellent. This is just, this is storytelling at its best for me, you know. But um, we wind up getting to, which I thought was pretty cool, you know. Luffy's going, oh yeah, and well, he started talking. Robin goes and pulls one of her hands out, you know, one of her extra hands, and pulls them, uh, puts it over his mouth, and she says, no, you know, thank you. And even though it was just, she's a, a woman of very few words with things, she doesn't get emotional and teary-eyed for the most part about things. She usually is, uh, I would say, fairly, you know, fairly to herself and, and uh, you know, has this kind of astute personality uh, where she doesn't let a lot of, you know, a lot of emotions come out. But, um, but like I said, the, the picture and the way it was done and the way it was drawn is worth a thousand words because as she's standing there and, you know, thanking everybody, you just see... Everybody at various parts on the ship, of course, you know, being just excited and elated that Robin, their crewmate, is back, that they were able to save her. And Luffy's like, oh, don't worry about it. It was no problem. <laughs> it was no big deal, you know? So um, the cool thing was is that because of this, obviously, and, and the fight with Lucci, it pushed Luffy uh, to come up with, obviously, the gear second and the gear third, you know, which uh, I, I think are very, very cool. And overall, it was just really neat to see everybody kind of power up or, uh, or or get some new move sets, I guess you would say, too, during the course of, of this arc, you know, and from the beginning of Water 7 till now. So anyway, so they're on the ship, and they're still surrounded by like seven or eight naval warships, right? And they're huge compared to the Going Mary. The Going Mary is like this. The naval warships are like, I mean, they're just giant, you know? Uh, it's like if you've ever seen, you know, like a, like a sailboat next to like a destroyer or an aircraft carrier, like a large ship, you know, and that, that's what it looks like. Anyway, uh, now remember Sanji just appeared last minute after disappearing for a couple of uh, chapters there, as he does, uh, but usually it's for a good reason, and uh, and this is no exception. As the Going Mary is trying to go and maneuver, and they're about to go and, and become upon by everybody, and they're like, ready, aim, fire! And all the cannons go off, and I'm thinking, oh shit, how are they going to go and block this one, right? Or, or dodge this one? They all wind up missing because their sights are off, and I'm thinking, and they're like, what? Sorry, sir, our sights were off. And I'm thinking, oh, what did Sanji do? Go and sneak onto the ships and somehow go and fuck with their cannons, you know? But then I'm thinking, no, there's no way that he could have infiltrated in that short a time all those ships and everything else. Well, anyway, what he, what he did was even better. They go and they look back and they're like, oh shit, the gates of justice are closing, right? Well, they explained to us several chapters ago that when the gates of justice are closed, it creates these whirlpool and, and basically it, it's, well, that's what it is. It's a whirlpool and it pretty much sucks anything into their ships and whatnot and everything else. If the gates of justice aren't open, it doesn't create that proper flow of water uh, for any ship that's sailing there. So... Gates of Justice are closing, and the ships are all getting pulled in. The Going Mary's trying to get away, and we wind up finding out that, because they're like, what the hell, who would have closed the Gates of Justice? And they're like, well, the, the lever for the, it's on the, the third, you know, support of the Bridge of Hesitation. <laughs> and they're like, and Sanji's like, ah, oh, it worked better than I thought. And they're like, you did this, Sanji, you're a genius. 
And these are the, it's little things like this that make me like Sanji just a little bit more than Zoro. Zoro is very much, he's the, uh, he's the brute, man. He is, he is the brunt, he is the force. He, he is a force to be reckoned with in many, many ways. Um, but he reminds me very much of, of, like I said, of just like this very physical character, you know, and, and not much of a, a forward thinking character, right? Whereas Sanji has all these great physical moves, but then he goes and he's got some smooth ass shit that he does too, where this was a gamble, right? This was an educated gamble that he took because he even says, cause they're like, we're not out of it yet. We're in the whirlpool too, you know? But what it did is it threw off the other ships, the ships are getting caught, they can't aim properly, and it gave them a fighting chance, right? So his quick thinking gave them a fighting chance, otherwise they would have been decimated. And I really liked how it all played out. So the going merry, so then Nami's like, don't worry about me, I'll find a way. And she's like a goddamn computer, a computer navigational system. She's scanning the waves and the, and the you know, the way the pool, the whirlpool is spinning and, you know, the wind and the temperature and all that shit, the barometric air pressure, you know, she goes and pulls her top up and if her nipples are hard, you know, that it's, you know, it's good. If not, anyway, whatever it is that she winds up doing, um, she winds up eventually being able to get them on the right course to kind of get out of there, you know, and then you wind up seeing, and I thought this was great. Uh, they actually do get their sights locked and fire a few shots at them as they're trying to get away. And as they wind up firing these, there's three or four huge cannonballs that come at them because Luffy's laying down. He's down for the count, pretty much knocked out, right? What happens? We wind up seeing these cannonballs that are coming right for <laughs> Sanji on one end, Zoro on the other end, pick up Luffy's ass and use him to catch the cannonballs, right? And the, stop that force and slow it down because he's rubber, like just, you know, just like you're catching something in like a, like a, a rubber band or a and fling them back at them, right? <laughs> and it's great. And Usopp's even like, you guys are demons, man. You guys are absolute monsters. What they're doing, you know? With Luffy's, like, half-dead body they're using to pop them back. Um, and then we also get, which I thought was pretty cool, we wind up getting some help, uh, you know, some, some help over there from Frankie as well. He winds up using one of his, you know, coup de vent, you know, and actually goes and, uh, and, and fires. He says this is going to do a lot of damage to the ship, but, I mean, the going Mary's pretty much already toast anyway, we know. Nonetheless, though, winds up kind of firing them out and getting them out ahead and, and out of that whirlpool so they can actually start moving quickly away from. Uh, but just the, the teamwork was great. Everybody working together. Uh, Chopper was back in action. He kind of hulked up and was, you know, was getting in to go and steer the rudder and this and that. Everybody got involved, and that's the type of stuff that I like to see. I like to see this team working together. I like it when they are together and they're able to actually work together because it just shows you how strong... Uh, a unit can be a team when it's when, when they're like family when they got each other's back and, and to me like I said it's very very cool stuff so uh, so as they're going and escaping and the Navy's like and, and then other words what the hell we can't sink one lowly ship of this net and what I thought was worth noting too is that Spandam towards the beginning of this uh, as they went and they all hopped on the going merry he goes and calls from the fire because at first they're not going to fire because Nico Robbins on the ship right and then he's like no 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 he goes uh, on, on Aokiji's orders you fire and then he's like not really you know we all know that it's bullshit. He's just taken it into his own hands now. But what I thought was great about that is, number one, he obviously went one of disobeying what you know what would have been a direct order, which was keeping Nico Robin alive. But uh, it winds up backfiring him on, anyway, on him anyway because they don't wind up getting her. And then as they're going and, and they're leaving and getting out of there, and he's standing on the edge of one of the ships, Robin goes and winds up grabbing his ass and, and doing her clutch move. And then it kind of goes and takes it off camera, so I don't know. I'm hoping that she went and snapped his fucking neck and just killed him. Uh, nobody would have deserved it more than Spandam, that's for sure, or Spanda or whatever. But uh, I don't know if that's actually what happened, you know, because you, you never know with, with characters and, and who's going to get killed, who doesn't get killed. It wasn't in a flashback, so I'm not really sure that it happened. But uh, it was just nice to see him beaten and bloodied and ultimately embarrassed, you know. So <laughs> she should have twisted him around and freaking, you know, stuck his own finger up his ass or something i was gonna think of something worse but then I, I calmed down and backed off a little bit but as the chapter winds up coming to a close you wind up seeing and i just, I just thought this was great we wind up seeing and, and, and the chapter itself is called utter defeat right so as all this happens and we get we get a couple of good shots over here we of course get the uh, robin going and, and clutching and kind of cracking him up you know which i thought was great uh to spanda and then, when we get to the end of it, man, we just get, it's great, you see Aokiji, and he's just like, this incident was a complete and utter defeat. And then we get everybody else, of course, in the Straw Hats, and we're like, we won the fight! You know, because of course they made it out of there. But Aokiji over there just cracked me up, man, because he's just, he seems real laid back, you know, but he seems like he's a realist, man. He ain't pulling no punches. He's just, he's calling, he's, you know, he's, he calls it like he sees it, and he's just like, this is just a complete and utter defeat, you know. 
I mean, you think about that though, to call in a buster call and they have all, and, and number one, there was, there was 10,000 men on Eni's lobby to begin with. The buster call should have never even had to have been, been called in, you know, but Luffy and, and his gang and, uh, and I, I, I don't know, I think it was roughly like 50 or 60 people with, you know, with everybody, with the giants and with, uh, you know, the galley lock company and, and with, uh, you know, the Frankie family and everything else. But for them to go and assault an island like that, you know, that's fortified with 10,000 troops, and then to go and still get away after you've got 10 warships that were called on the island and everything has been burned to the ground, and in, and in the interim, while this was all happening, defeat CP9, which were some of the strongest members that, uh, well, they're the strongest, they've defended Eni's lobby for hundreds of years, let's put it that way. Okay, so they were they were the strongest fighters that they had there. I'm not going to say that they're the strongest fighters in the government because we know that's not true and I haven't even read ahead or watched ahead. I don't know. So very cool stuff, though. Great way to end things off. My chapter question for you, though, brothers and sisters, is what were your thoughts on Sanji and obviously him and his quick thinking? Uh, to me, it looked like he saved everybody's ass, but closing the gates of justice and then, of course, taking a gamble that, you know, Nami would be able to navigate them out and that they'd be able to figure it out from there, you know? Uh, leave your answer to that question in the comments down below. Feel free to hit the thumbs up, the like button if you should think that I deserve it, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. We will look forward to catching all of you in the next one, nation. Remember to take a look at my other channels, and as always, thanks for watching.